Hiya, yeah. this is my introduction. It's inspired by Ludmilla's introduction. I'm using Screencast-O-Matic to make this introduction, and I'm just showing you some illustrations that exist on my computer. So I'm moving around from PowerPoint to my paint program, to the internet, to whatever I can find to tell you a little bit about what Moodle for Teachers has done for me. I took my first course in the fall of 2009, a beginner's course in couldn't get through it, didn't have the time, took another one, and finally in 2010, after the Connecting Online 2010 conference, which by the way, please go to the Connecting Online 2013 conference on WizIQ because it is so wonderful. You can always learn so much from other teachers and students and people using various types of technology in their businesses. So I got into the Moodle for Teachers Beginners course after that conference in 2010, and then I did this um, uh, PowerPoint telling uh, uh, telling Nellie and Ludmilla, who were teaching that class with a colleague of theirs from Latin America, how that course had changed me. So this was my slide showing this is how I was as a teacher before I got to meet them. And the way I met them was getting myself on a tear probably June, I think it started probably in June of 2009 um, to teach, to learn more about online teaching. I was a researcher at the University of Virginia doing all kinds of survey research and I really wanted to get some online teaching experience. I missed teaching. So I applied for a lot of online teaching jobs and a very nice secretary at the University of Phoenix wrote me an email back once. None, nobody else responded and she wrote me and said, listen, your credentials are good for teaching your subject matter, but you've never taught online. You don't know anything about online education as far as we can tell. And so you're not going to get over into that positive maybe we'll hire you pile without that kind of information. So she was very, that was very helpful for her and I decided okay I'm gonna do this and like everybody else I put e-learning, online learning into Google and try to find out what I could find out and I found the International Society for Technology and Education um, and then through them I found uh, uh, a variety of other things including WizIQ. So I started on WizIQ by, this is the webinar system that, that Nellie and, and Millie use for the class. I started lurking in classes. I watched a lot of classes by a lot of different people, saw how people use the webinar to teach and use it for their classes. Then I started to actually, so I was watching recorded mainly, and I, I got to the point where I thought that Nellie and Lamila and their colleague were, were doing probably the best and most useful webinars that were there. So then I started actually signing up and taking those courses in real time and from there I got pushed into Moodle for, for teachers. I also was re researching a lot of other stuff, especially Moodle in general and the use of education in virtual worlds. I got very involved in Second Life, but a little bit more about that later. Around the 19th of, of, of January, while well, I was still, I think, and either moved to the next class up or was still in the beginner class, I gave a talk at the University of Virginia to my research group about web-based education and parapsychology. Now, some of you may cringe when you hear that word, but I have always worked in scientific parapsychology uh, as a psychologist. I'm interested in the um, psychological characteristics of people who have psychic experiences or believe that they have psychic experiences. So there's that's a lot of technical stuff about being interested in dissociation and absorption and um, ha having a family that's very interested in psychic phenomena and all that. So I took that as a as a um, a combo. I took my research area and I comboed it with what I was learning from from Nellie and Mila, and I did this presentation on the 19th. It didn't get posted as a blog um, until May, but uh, in January I did this thing: 21st Century and Learning Web Based Education and Parapsychology, and I showed them that wonderful Engage Me YouTube video that's out on YouTube and talked about what courses used to be like and what they are now. I did this wonderful shift happens thing which is very scary. Shows you how fast the technology uptake and changes has has happened. I'm scrolling down and this picture of people in line over here. That was that was my experience when I was in college. 
um, and then talked about online libraries and all that kind of stuff. And because of Second Life, then I did a history of cor these types of courses in the field of scientific parapsychology. The first online courses, different schools that did this kind of information. Atlantic University, where I had just gotten a job, thanks to what I learned at Moodle for Teachers. And I put up a, a, a YouTube video that I made. I have a YouTube channel. Um, about how people use Second Life for education, and then I put and and then I I I finished that that particular presentation, and there was a person there who helped me get my job at Atlantic University. I didn't know at the time that they were looking to move from being a correspondence school to an online school. <laughs> So then I started taking administrators, Moodle for Teachers administrators courses and um, following more things on WizIQ and trying to set up my own Moodle. Uh, I had my own Moodle uh, for a while that I played around with. And while I was at Atlantic University, I was there for just about three years, my last day is at the end of this um, month. We moved the school um, from a CD-based correspondence school to being completely online, and this is the model that um, I largely built. I had lots of help from Nellie, who, thank God, is now a member of the faculty there, and with whom we had already uh, made an arrangement for Moodle hosting and so on, and a couple of other faculty who were interested and knowledgeable about Moodle. But this, this guy right here represents, this thing right here in the middle, represents the first time I ever made a table and put images in it. That was kind of scary. So I find I'm always learning something new uh, and uh, learned something new recently even. So I'll show you what kind of classes we've got. I helped set up the structure of the Moodle um, and we do archiving of our courses and all that. I'm still learning a lot of those aspects of managing a Moodle. Um, and this is the spring semester that's just starting and I'll show you one of the courses that I, that I um, put up there. I'm not teaching it. We have another faculty member who's teaching it. So I haven't really actually had much of a chance to teach at Atlantic University except to teach adult education courses. And so this is a, one of our courses that we set up. And that was kind of nifty. And everything that I'm able to do I learned because of what Nellie has taught us. And Nellie has also done a lot of the adult, ed, uh, adult education professional development courses with us too. So basically you start a Moodle for beginners and you stick with it and you develop a personal learning network and everything gets absolutely fantastic and you're able to accomplish a lot. And finally just to reiterate what Nellie said, I have a wonderful husband and there he is. That's Carlos and I. So happy Moodling.